China closes volcano park over fears Kim Jong-un's nuclear weapons test will spark huge eruption. Mount Pekt, on the border with North Korea, is responsible for one of the most powerful eruptions in history and scientists fear it could blow at any moment. Scientists fear a volcano on China's border with North Korea could erupt at any moment after being triggered into life by Kim Jong-un's nuclear missile tests. Mount Pekt is responsible for one of the most powerful eruptions in human history, and now scientists fear it could blow once more. Mt Pekt is responsible for one of the most catastrophic eruptions in human history. North Korea's MOOCs have sparked several tremors in the region. When it erupted in 946 and it showered Japan with ash 680 miles away officials in China have now closed the popular national park next to the volcano to keep the public safe, reports the Express. Nuclear tests from North Korea have triggered tremors in the 70-square-mile Changbeshan National Nature Reserve which neighbors the volcano. The Chinese authorities said, for the safety and convenience of travelers, we have temporarily closed the southern tourist zone of Changbai Mountain. Officials are thoroughly investigating the safety of the tourist area. The area will remain closed to the public until the potential risks disappear. Mount Pekt once underwent one of the most devastating eruptions in history in 946 at producing enough ash to shower Japan almost 680 miles away. A team of scientists from South Korea has warned nuclear tests from Kim Jong-un's nation could trigger another mighty eruption. The team, led by Yang Tae-kun, a professor in the Department of Earth System Sciences at Yonsei University, examined the impact nuclear testing has on seismic activity. His report reads, North Korean nuclear explosions are expected to produce pressure changes of tens to hundreds of kilopascals causing concern over the possible triggering of a volcanic eruption. South Korean detectors picked up a 5.3 magnitude artificial earthquake near the country's main testing site. World leaders rounded on maniacal Kim earlier this month after the North Korean tyrant detonated a nuclear bomb twice the size of Hiroshima. Announcing the country's fifth and largest MOOC test to date, regime-run television claimed the country could now produce warheads any time we desire. Neighboring South Korea stated this morning it believes this is the North's biggest MOOC test to date, reportedly twice the size of that which leveled Hiroshima we successfully conducted a nuclear explosion test to determine the power of the nuclear warhead, a female anchor announced on state television. We will continue to strengthen our nuclear capabilities to protect our sovereignty. We have now standardized and minimized nuclear warheads, we can now produce small nuclear warheads any time we desire. South Korean President Park Jin-hye called it an act of self-destruction which showed the maniacal recklessness of leader Kim. An official of the earthquake and volcano of the Korea Monitoring Division points at the upper center of seismic waves. The explosion was reportedly twice as big as the one which destroyed Hiroshima British Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson said. These reports are of grave concern. The United Kingdom strongly condemns North Korea for conducting a further nuclear test, which is a flagrant violation of one Security Council resolutions and a threat to regional peace and stability. Together with the Australian Foreign Minister I have spoken this morning to the Japanese Foreign Minister, and the UK will be consulting other international partners on a robust response. The test was first detected as a 5.3 magnitude artificial earthquake close to the North's known nuclear test site. Analysts fear it could be a step closer to having a usable nuclear weapon. An analyst from the Californian-based Middlebury Institute of International Studies estimated the device had a 20 to 30 kiloton yield, which would make it North Korea's largest nuke test yet and up to twice the size of the 15 kiloton blast which rocked Hiroshima 